All right, guys, today I'm going to show you real quick how to do a time lapse in iMovie. First of all, of course, open iMovie. Let it load up. Next, you're going to want to move over to your SD card that you pulled out of your camera that contains all of your still images from your time lapse. And basically, select all of the images that you want to use anyway. And real simple, iMovie makes it easy. Just drag them right into the timeline. Now, here's the point where you can actually go and get something else done. Sometimes, depending on the amount of images you have, this can take a while. Maybe pop up on Facebook and update your status, tell everybody in the world that you're making a time-lapse video right now, whatever. Sometimes it can take a while, so just be patient. All right, once iMovie gets all the images loaded in, all you need to do is go to the first one, click Command-A, select them all, and a couple adjustments. Clip adjustments, change the, change the duration to 0 0.01, and make sure that checkbox is checked to apply that time to all of the stills. Click Done. One other minor adjustment you're going to want to do is go and stop the Ken Burns effect. Click it to fit. Click Done. That way all your images will stay there all static. Next you'll want to throw a title in. Of course, you've got to tell everybody what the movie's all about. And of course, give it a logical title and a pretty backdrop. Whatever. I don't really care which one you choose, but uh, make it a logical title. In this case, this is a test video, so I'll name it Test Video. And on the second line, you can put whatever you want, blah, 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 or nothing at all. doesn't really matter. Finally, you're going to want to throw some end credits in. Again, I'm just going to use the same one at the end of this video. I'm drag it, drop it over, use the same effect, and I'm going to say, oh, it's the end, so the end. And then also, it's always a good idea to put your website at the very end of your video. So in case people want to see more, they can go and find you on the World Wide Web. Okay, that's it. Um, let's clean it up a little bit with a couple transitions. Uh, just to smooth it out a little bit, we'll cross dissolve here uh, after the title into the first frame, and then after the last frame, we'll throw one more in there right before the final title bar. And there, there you have it. I mean, it's pretty much all set up, but it's always good to throw a little music in it. So as you can see, this is about a 19 second clip. So I'm going to go over to the music selector and I'm going to scroll down until I find a clip of music that is actually going to work. It's about the right amount. It's 20 seconds. That's going to work pretty good. So I'm going to drag that over, drop that into there. And uh, there you can see the audio is across the whole thing. So uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like. And there you have it. I mean, about three minutes, and you've got yourself a time lapse. Now all you got to do is go and share it on Facebook, or YouTube, or, or wherever you want to do it. Um, of course, select a proper category for your video, put a logical title in, and uh, be sure to put a description. It's always good to include links in that description. And again, keywords. Use logical keywords for the video you created. Always go to the highest resolution that you can possibly find, and make sure you uncheck that box that makes the video personal. That's always annoying. But anyway, click Next, share it online, and that's it. That's a quick tutorial on how to do time lapse.